For centuries, men have pondered the mysteries of their world and the heavens above. Often their questions have been quite limited. Why does rain fall? And the answers have been equally specific. Because heat from the sun turns water to vapor, which rises, cools, and returns to earth as rain. Often the questions have been more far-reaching. What is the smallest particle of matter? And the answers have had almost unending implications. The atom is the tiniest known unit of matter. At times, the mere struggle to survive has left man with energy to do little more than accept the workings of nature. But at other times, man has had enough leisure to develop and pursue a desire to know. Sometimes the resulting discoveries have revolutionized man's thinking about himself, his world, and the universe, and have had consequences far into the future. The years between 1540 and 1700 was such a period. Then a number of brilliant and inquisitive men laid the foundations of modern science. To appreciate their achievement, we must understand some of the difficulties in thinking that they had to overcome. What were the concerns and assumptions of the science that they displaced? How different was it from modern science? 